Thank you for your interest in a Microsoft Dynamics Nav solution from eSoftware Professionals. This tour will show how easy it is to create and process a purchase order in Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2013. We'll cover three things. First, we'll show how to create a purchase order and release it. Next, we'll show how to receive a purchase order into the warehouse and move the product into inventory. Then we will invoice the supplier. Let's get started. Here we see a role center. Role centers give personalized work areas so each person can focus on their specific job functions. Role centers help them prioritize work, monitor tasks, and simplify navigation. Today we'll review role centers for a purchasing agent, a warehouse worker, and accounts payable. Let's create a new purchase order. Here we see the purchase order screen. Click on the number field and the system will automatically assign the next sequential purchase order number. Dynamics Nav gives you the flexibility to create a different number series to identify different sources of orders, if desired. Purchase order number 106026 is assigned from the number series. Dynamics Nav offers a powerful find as you type lookup. For example, when I type the number 4, the system will automatically display a short list of all vendors with numbers beginning with 4. You can use the Find As You Type feature easily in other fields by simply selecting another field such as name, city, or zip. This feature helps you find information quickly and shortens data entry. When we select Vendor 40,000, the vendor information automatically populates the purchase order with data from the vendor card. In the Type field, enter I for item and press Enter. Then click the number field beside the type field to select an item. Select item 1900-S. Click quantity to enter 1 in the field. Click the number field to enter number 1924 and select 1924-W. Click quantity to enter 1 in the quantity field. Two inventory items have been added to this purchase order. The next step is to release it, which gives the warehouse visibility to receive these products. The purchasing agent has an option to select approval on the ribbon, which initiates a document approval process. Many companies set this up based on business rules, like purchase orders over a certain dollar amount require approval by a purchasing manager. Once approved or released, the status changes to released. Click release from the ribbon. We have now entered a new purchase order and released it. Over in the warehouse, they can now receive purchase orders as shipments arrive. Now we see the role center for a warehouse worker to receive, ship, put away, and pick items into inventory. Click Warehouse Receipts on the navigation pane. Select New. This creates a new warehouse receipt document for goods that have arrived at the receiving dock. The warehouse receipt number is assigned automatically. Click the location code. Enter green as the receiving location. The location code can be set by default in the employee warehouse table to eliminate this step during data entry. Click get source documents for a list of all received POs for the green location. Select the purchase order 106026 you can select multiple purchase orders or a single purchase order on each warehouse receipt. Each purchase order selected generates a warehouse receipt line. Click Post Receipt from the ribbon. The two items we received are now ready for posting. Click Yes to post the warehouse receipt. We have now finished the posting update. Click OK to continue. The warehouse receipt has been received into inventory. Click Roll Center on the navigation homepage. Select Unassigned Putaways from the Inbound Activities. Putaways can be assigned to individual warehouse workers at the time a warehouse receipt is created, if desired. Select Unassigned Putaway number 4. Click Edit on the ribbon. Select Register Putaway. Registering this putaway removes items from the receiving area and puts them into a zone, bin, or shelf in the green location. Click Yes to complete. The warehouse receipt 
SPU number four has been put away into an inventory storage location. Now the put away has been automatically removed from the list. We have completed the process of receiving a purchase order into the green warehouse and then put away the inventory into the storage location. Now we're ready to move to accounts payable. Here we see the role center for accounts payable. Click purchase orders on the navigation pane. Select Purchase Order 106026 and click Edit from the ribbon. Click Vendor Invoice Number. Type Vendor Invoice Number 2345-1 and press Enter. Notice that both items have been received. Now a Vendor Invoice Number can be entered completing the three-way match of Purchase Order, Warehouse Receipt and Vendor Invoice. Select Post from the ribbon. Here we select Receive and Invoice. When posting a purchase order as Receive and Invoice, it creates the Open Accounts Payable entry and updates the vendor balance. Click OK. Purchase order number 106026 has been removed since the purchase order has been both received and invoiced. Click Vendors on the Navigation homepage to continue. Select Vendor 40,000. You'll see in the Vendor Statistics box, on the right, the balance for this vendor is $552.20. Click on the balance to see the invoices that are outstanding for this vendor. There are two vendor invoices that make up the open balance. Click on the invoice you want to view, then select Navigate from the ribbon. Here we can see all related transactions to the posted purchase invoice. The details can be reviewed by highlighting and selecting Show Related Entries from the ribbon. Click OK to close this window. This same process can be used from the vendor list when a vendor calls and wants to know the status of a PO or invoice payment. Thank you for watching our purchase order processing tour of Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013. This is version R2.